NBC, it's not some kind of cruel April Fool's joke. Starting today, the province is getting rid of the HST, but consumers aren't getting off the hook completely. An old sales tax is making a bit of a comeback. Let's get more information now from Byron Chu. Byron, you and I spoke in the last hour and you said this is leading to a lot of confusion. Yeah, it sure is. You know, there are more than 100,000 businesses here in B.C. Uh, and it's believed that more than a quarter of those still haven't registered to collect the provincial sales tax, even though, as we know, it's in effect today. Uh, you know, so for uh, for customers, they, they should take a second look at their bills today. Anybody who's out dining or buying something, make sure you're being taxed the right amount on what you're getting. And just as a reminder, the provincial sales tax does not apply to services such as restaurant meals or tax taxis, uh, haircuts, car repairs, coffee shops, that kind of thing. And it also doesn't apply to a number of goods, uh, including magazines, bicycles, books. Uh, uh, let's see, there's a whole bunch of things, child car seats, junk food, and there's a whole other list of things. You need a tax accountant to sit here with you and explain to you that everything that's exempt from the PST. Uh, so you can imagine there's a lot of confusion for businesses too. Some of them just don't know exactly what's taxed and what's not. Uh, but for consumers uh, who can remember what the uh, 2009 tax was actually like, there are still some changes yet. So even more confusion for everybody. Uh, used car sales from a private dealer, or sorry, private seller, mm -hmm. uh, you have to pay tax now that's equivalent to the HST in spite of the fact that we're going back to the old system. The government says this is because they want used car dealers not to be, uh, well, they want to be on the level playing field with people who sell their cars from their home. Uh, mm -hmm. It probably doesn't hurt that the provincial government also collects $45 million by keeping this tax in place per year. And the other, yeah, the other, uh, the other thing that people will note here is parking. Now, parking should be PST exempt. Most private lots are parking, on, are, are passing on those savings to their customers. But here in the city of Vancouver, if you park at a meter or park in a city-owned lot, you won't get a break. And that's because the city has this green plan initiative. Part of that <laughs> oh, is getting no. motorists out of their cars and, and keeping vehicles off the streets. And so they say they're not passing on those savings to people who park at city meters or parking lots. Oh, I can't make uh, Vancouverites very happy. <laughs> Quite sad, right? Yeah, if, if you know what, if we could make sense of this, I think there'd be a little more anger over all of this. But I think a lot of people are going, what? Yeah, this exactly, morning? exactly. Yeah. Not, not good news. Uh, they're all hoping this is just a bad, bad April Fool's joke. It's not, though, right? <laughs> no, it's not. I think, I think most people will just try to let this slide through <laughs> and hopefully that everything will work out. I, I'm getting that impression talking to people out here. All right. Okay, thanks for this, Byron. You're welcome.